If you were to ask me, what do I think is wrong with the fragrance industry? Couple things. One thing is people's drive and motivation to sell you something that's not going to work for you, right? What I mean by that is you can't mask your imperfections with cologne. The only thing cologne does is highlight your perfections. What I mean by this is the more you take care of yourself, the more you care for yourself, right? Colognes just brings the best out of you. So if you look good, you work out, you watch what you eat, you take care of yourself, even if you just do calisthenics, you know, it's good for the blood, good for the heart. It's good for your member downstairs, blood circulation. You know, colognes, it's not going to do that for you. A nice jacket is not going to make you really look better for the moment. I tell everybody, please, take care of your health. Watch your weight, right? Don't just think that the newest cologne is going to get you some... Some chop cha, some kitty cat, because it's not going to work like that. You got to look good, got to take care of yourself, and these things will work. Another thing I see definitely, definitely being lied to oh, you spend thousand dollar cologne, you're going to smell great. Not really. And what I mean by that is because when you're buying colognes at that level, is usually it's something somewhat challenging because the ingredients are so high level that's going to be, I wouldn't say off-putting, but it's not for everybody's nose, right? You can spend 200 bucks and get the same effect. You feel me, guys? You, you don't have to spend that much money to smell good. Another thing. Don't get stuck on the same houses. Like, you must get out of that, right? Look, Serge Luton, great house. This right here, 5 o'clock, ginger, whatever that says. I'm a little blind right now. <laughs> Even though these glasses are prescription, it is what it is. You know, like, for example, you got designers like this one. You see guys hate it. Oh, whatever. Whatever. But it gets mad compliments, lasts all freaking day. What more do you want, right? This one back here, if you ask me, it's a phenomenal release for a, des for a designer and it only costs $44? I mean, how do you get better than that? So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Look. This right here, this, I kind of forget what it even smells like. Oh, shit. This tobacco bomb over here. Guys, this is the Armani Code. The Profumo. Yo, smells amazing, guys. You know, um, I love this, this Amor. It's Bracken, man. I don't know what it is. About this patchouli, but when you're in this fragrance journey, your, your your noses develop, get better, and then they appreciate other stuff. You know, don't get caught up in that panty dropper stuff, because you know what smells good on me may not smell good on you, and what smells good on you may not smell good on me. Always follow your nose. Your nose, your head, you know, sometimes I'll look at something and be like, it's not for me. I want this one because that's for me, right? It's like your body knows what it wants. Your mind, even if you smell it, you can tell how it's going to react on your skin by the way you smell it sometimes. Even though it's not always accurate because there's things that I didn't, that I did not like, but I love today. And this is one of them, this right here. So. These mistakes I see, you know, you guys doing, it's going to affect you guys. You're going to fall into the, I got to buy every cologne because I got to get a girl and I got to wear this and I got to smell. And that's not true, man. Two things get you a girl. 
Take care of yourself. Well, three things. Take care of yourself. And the next two are optional. Either you packing like a motherfucking donkey or your money is as big as Donald Trump. Either or, guys. So take that with a grain of salt. Take it however you like. But see, I got mad colognes. I had to dismember all this stuff. I have a lot of colognes because I know what I'm doing. I like to smell good. You feel me, guys? I know what I'm doing. And I like to smell good. And I take care of myself. You know what my girlfriend tells me? She's t- like 20 years younger than me. She tells me I love to be up on you. You know why? I'm like, why? Because you always smell good. Just trying to tell you guys, man, don't be a fool. Yeah, I got mad colognes, but I could just smell better than most people. And that's all I really want. Like, for example, Tonka Cola, an amazing pickup. Kirky, an amazing house. Yo, Titsarenzi Terenzi is an amazing house. Mancera is an amazing house. You don't have to spend a retarded amount of money. This cost me $100, performed like a madman, smells great. I mean, guys, don't get caught up in these astronomical stuff, you know? Get what smells good for you, right? Don't fall for traps every time. Look, this is my new number one. I mean, look. It could be a new number one. It could be really good. But you never know. You know, that's the sad part, you know, with these reviewers that a lot of them don't want to tell you the truth or they want to just, you know, feed you what they're getting for free. So you'll see them come up to their to their big collection that. Like, half of it was given to them easily. You see them on all those Roja doves. You think that they really, really shelling out that much money, all these reviewers? I think some are. But a majority of them, it's the free bottle brigade. And I'm not mad about that. It's cool, man. Get a free bottle, man. Shit, I don't, have, I don't mind having a free bottle. I'm not trying to hate on nobody. But when they throw it in your face, these free bottles they get that are ridiculous, ridiculously expensive don't think that's gonna get him any chocha anything like that like that's not you know what i'm saying guys they just flexing off free shit that's like me going outside and jumping in my boy's lambo and flexing i got a lambo it's not my lambo i didn't pay for it. they gave it to me so it's kind of the same shit guys you know it's cool they have it if one day you like what they have that you hear good things about it you want to try it out and you like it you purchase it great guys but don't don't think you can't smell just as good wearing dior ohm intense like don't think this is not a rock star cologne and that you have to spend five hundred dollars to smell good and another thing i'm going to tell you guys don't fall for these companies because a lot of these companies remake what somebody else made and that happens a lot you're going to get companies remaking another company's you know item and then calling it their own right do you really want to pay that much money for a remake especially when the remake is still available see that's what i that's when i don't really like it too much tell me like you're making something that used to be made before, and now you're going to remake it for us. Yeah, I appreciate that. But if you're taking the same formula, let's say Tom Ford has Tuscan leather. Now, I like leather, so I didn't mind buying a dolphin. But let's just say I did mind. Then that'll be a problem because it's not the same same, but they stole the same recipe. So... Don't be fooled because something new came out, it's better. Usually, usually, what was prior to that one is better. Only sometimes do they actually make it better than the original, right? 
like Raja, you know, I, I've noticed this. I only have like five Rajas, but I noticed something from Raja. He takes other people's stuff and recreates it. So you can spend a thousand dollars on something that probably is only worth like two hundred dollars somewhere else. And that's the thing about these fragrances and and spending that much money, guys. You just got to be careful. Now, if you have the money and you don't care, yo, buy it. Because I'm going to buy some crazy shit. So I'm not telling you not to buy it. But just don't be fooled, you know. Don't be fooled. Don't think that, you know, oh, it's original. He did it. No, it's really not original. None of this is pretty. None of this is original. A majority of this stuff is from somebody else that made it. And they just flipped it a little bit. Changed this, changed that, you know. And that's what they do. You know, um... You know why? You know why I like certain brands, because of the price point, right? Because, like, for example, Tizzarelli Terenzi, right? Now, a lot of their stuff is a hundred dollars. The most you're gonna pay for some of his stuff. I mean, some of his stuff is outrageous too. And do I think this worth it for seven hundred? No, I don't. Do they smell good? Yes, they do. But not for $500. I don't know. No, it's not worth that much money. No. They smell great, but not worth that much money. But a majority of his stuff is very fair priced. I will say that. You can get a lot of stuff from them under $200, which I think is a fair price. Under $200 for high-end ingredients. Once you really start going over $200... Know where you're buying from. Know what you're buying. It's very important. You know, even over a hundred dollars, man. Look, this costs a hundred dollars. And it's phenomenal. Yo, I love I love this, man. I got a bunch of surgeries. Serge Routon, sorry. I have a bunch of them. You know? Um and another thing. Here's my my best advice for you. Don't listen to people who say, oh, it's this is played out. This is played out. Don't wear this. Wear, no, man, wear what the F you want to wear. And something could smell really good on you. And because some jerk off tells you not to wear it because he thinks he's the cologne guy, which he is not. All right. But it could smell awesome on you and it could work wonders for you. Just because that jerk off. It's an ugly fat fuck, most likely, hiding behind a camera. You know what I mean? Scared to show you the waist down, right? I ain't scared. You, I go to the gym. I'll show you tomorrow. Waist down is the real deal, right? I, I ain't got no fucking, no fat hanging out here, there, looking like, oh, shit. No, nigga. Because they'll fool you with the chest up. Look, I look good. I, I'm a, I'm in shape. No, you're not, nigga. You, and, and, and another thing, you know... When you got to understand some of these reviewers, right? They're not really like, they don't really get girls, right? They may have a girlfriend, a wife, but when they go out, they don't get girls. Like girls are not drawn to them. Like, like a cologne bottle, right? Like you say to yourself, why is this cologne bottle getting more attention? Because it's the DNA, it's the makeup, it's your approach, it's your, it's your swag. So, not all of these guys get any, like, they don't go to a bar and get attacked by women. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't go to a titty bar and the girls are only after them for the money. I go to a titty bar and they're not after me for the money. You know what I mean? I get mad attention, no money. So, you got to understand this point of view, too. Who you're listening to, what they're telling you. Because it's not in their DNA to get pussy like that anyway. Right? It's just not in their DNA. It doesn't, their body makeup is not of that. It doesn't mean they can't direct you to a good smelling cologne, but it's hard for him to tell you, yo, this going to get you all this because he can't get it anyway. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he couldn't get it if they threw the pussy at him, landed on his forehead, he still couldn't grab it. So you got to understand that too. Some of these guys just don't know 
what really gets the girls or what really is an attention grab because they're not an attention grabber, right? They need things to be an attention grabber. They're not on their own. So just keep that in mind, fellas. You know, like, don't, don't let the world fool you. Buy what works for you, right? And don't fall for every new fragrance is the best fragrance. The only thing I can say about every new fragrance, when you when you do get the new fragrance, the only thing I can say is you're gonna probably get the best formulation of that of that concoction at that particular time. You know? Because sometimes they have to reformulate, whether it's because of you know components in the fragrance. And stuff of that nature, just they, they can't use it no more. That's probably when you get the best formulation of a fragrance. When the first releases, the first ones, probably be the best formulation you're going to get. Other than that, new is not better. You know, and remember, a lot of these houses copy someone else and redo it. So, don't get fooled. Don't let these people misguide you to spend in all, all types of money every week on a, a new cologne that's going to get you attention when it's not because they don't talk to you about being healthy, being in shape, eating right. You know, like they don't talk to you about these things. They just talk to you about, look, this going to drop some panties and, and this all oh, last a thousand hours and whew, it's. It's cost 500 bucks. You're going to smell like the man. No, you're not. And a lot of these companies are jacking that price up because you guys are dumb enough to buy it. Let me tell you something, guys. What I've noticed is this. Doesn't matter how much you spend. If something smells good on you, it smells good on you. Now, I would say this. Don't get it confused. Don't buy too many cheapies. Here's my best. Here's what I can say. I went to the gym. I was there on Friday. Yesterday, as a matter of fact. And this lady comes to me and goes, You smell. Oh, this, this is the best cologne you've ever put on here. What you got on? I'm like, Obsession for men. She goes to me, I hate that cologne, but it smells so good on you. People, don't be fooled. And that obsession, a 200 mil cost me 25 bucks, and that son of a bitch lasts like over 10 hours. I take a shower, I smell the obsession coming off of me. Hours later. So, don't be fooled. You know? Don't buy so many of these cheapies. I know... For content reviewers, there's content. People who don't want to spend that much money, I get it. But what I also could say is, you could buy something like this, man, for $45. Monster projection. Beast mode type for 40 Yo, this thing gives me like 12 hours on my skin for $40. Something dollars, an aquatic leather bomb. And I think it smells good. Is it for everybody? Nothing's for everybody. But I'm telling you, man, if you like Aqua de Geo, if you like any aquatics, you got to give this a try for $45. The EDP is just, it's phenomenal for the price. You know? Look, I'll give you an example of what I mean about these companies. By Killian made a new fragrance, right? And it smells like a hookah, some type of hookah, incense smell, whatever, whatever. But this is the bad part about these companies. Well, I'm gonna explain something to you. It's a 50 mil, and you're gonna pay over two hundred dollars for that 50 mil. I swear to my mother, get red hope, I mean red hobbit. It's a strawberry incense hookah. And you can get this on Joma Shop. No lie, the testers for 150 bucks, and this shit lasts 12 hours easy. So, 
You can go buy that new Killian, a 50 mil for 200 something dollars, or you can buy that one right there, that Red Hobbit, for a buck 50 tester. If you want the whole presentation, pay like a almost a buck 80, 200 bucks, and you get the full presentation, it's a hundred mil. So you're gonna get a hundred mil for the same price, pretty much as a 50 mil from By Killian. So, family, with that, this has been already a long recording. I just want you guys to know that smelling good is great. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're a 10, smelling good makes you a 12 and 11, you know? If you're an 8, smelling good makes you a 9 or a 10. If you're a 7, you get my drift, right? Smelling good only adds to who you are when they see you. That's it. That's it, guys. You can't smell bad and put this on, and then you, you're you a 10. Or you can't look like shit, put this on, and you're a fucking 10. You know, if you're a 4, you're going to be a 6 at max. Be happy with that 6 because you ain't taking care of yourself. Go to the gym. Watch what you eat. Look at the ingredients in your food, man. If you're always out eating. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Look out for yourself. You know what I mean? That's going to get you the most success in your life. Not spending $10 billion on every new cologne. Like, subscribe, praise to the most high family. You know how I do. Sometimes I want to just talk. And I'm out. Praise to the most high. The Lord is always first, baby. And we out.